Dwarf mongooses are highly social mammals that live in large groups and termite mounds. Beyond their social interactions with each other, dwarf mongooses also have a mutualism with hornbills. A mutualism is a relationship between two species that is beneficial to both. There are three species of hornbills that form this mutualism with dwarf mongooses. The eastern yellow-billed hornbills, the red-billed hornbills, and the von der Deccans hornbills. Dwarf mongooses and these three hornbill species share both prey and predators. As dwarf mongooses forage through the tall grass, they disturb insects, lizards, and small mammals. And the hornbills hop along behind the mongooses and get all the extras. Because the mongooses are so busy foraging, the hornbills are responsible for watching for predators. When a predator, such as an eagle, is spotted, the hornbill will give an alarm call to alert everyone. So dwarf mongooses and the hornbills actually communicate with each other. And this exchange makes these species reliant on one another, and they will not forage for food without one another. Hornbills will actually wake up the mongooses by sticking their beak in the ventilation shaft of the termite mound and giving a talk call so that sounds like this. But if the mongooses get up on their own and their hornbill pair has not arrived yet, they will wait at their termite mound until a hornbill shows up. Once the hornbills show up, the alpha female of the mongoose group will give a let's go call and they will all head off to forage. The let's go call sounds like this. This means that these species are actually communicating and cooperating with one another. This was one of the first mutualisms found between social vertebrates that normally live independently. However, scientists are discovering that most animal communication signals are not meant for private conversation, but are used socially by different species. And if you keep an eye out to the sounds and displays that animals use to communicate, you will notice that lots of different individuals and animals are paying attention. Can you think of any other animals that are communicating with one another and why they are communicating?